This video is going to show you how to walk into the United States from Mexico. If you guys are looking for the other way around where you start in the U.S. and go to Mexico, check out my last video, link in the description. That video actually ends right where this video begins. It's a good one, you should go check it out. So here we are, we're in Mexico and we're headed north. This is a weekday, so there actually isn't a lot of people out here, traffic, trying to get over. But there are people here trying to sell you stuff, you know, food, candies, and some beggars. Since it's a weekday, the you can't really, there's no line here. On the weekends, the line could even start way back here, right where this video started. Which, I, I've never had to wait in line this long. That, that video right here, this little view, that actually shows us where we just started. We walked in, and we're just immediately walking right back out into the United States. So as I was saying before, the line to cross back into the United States could start from way back here. And we're talking about maybe two hour, three hour wait walking. I've done the wait before, but usually in a car, you know, sitting down, air conditioning, things like that. So if you do decide to come down for a day trip, make sure that you are prepared for a long line if you're out here on the weekends. another thing I'm not gonna edit out any of this video I want to give you a good sense of how long it would take for you to cross back over That over there, the car is trying to cross back into the United States. There's some churro stands right there. Fresh. I didn't get any this time. I didn't. I didn't want to get any this time. <laughs> Sometimes though, I, I I have to get one. All right, here I'm focusing on some signs. Those signs say all traffic or general traffic on the other side of that railing. And then the sentry lane, which is essentially a, um, a faster path is here on the right. That's the one we're gonna end up taking today. It's an expedited lane. The line up to here could be up to maybe 45 minutes. This is important here. This is the restrooms. Definitely wanna check out those restrooms. Before you, before you get in line. So the signs again. We're, again, we're going to be going through the century lane, the expedite lane. There's all kinds of hustlers here, man. Everyone's trying to get something, trying to make a dollar. There's a duty-free shop on the right. Guy trying to sell newspapers. All right, here's a video. If you look up there, the last video I made, we're looking down here where we're at. Make sure you check that one out. Again, link in the description. In here I am, I'm just scooting through all these people trying to get around them. As you can see, the line isn't moving very fast.
This building to the right is where we're gonna go and that's where the customs agents are where they're gonna ask for our information. The fence on the left here used to be a building. And the, also the fence at the end of this little path here is where you used to be able to cross. It used to be a really large building, multiple lines, people many people can cut through there. But now they tore it down, looks like they're gonna re be rebuilding. It's actually a little bit slower now than it was earlier just because of, you know it's, it's a lot tighter here in this building but what they did they did open up another entrance another exit from mexico to the united states it's about maybe like two miles west of this location they call that i believe the new border crossing or the it, it exits right to a mall which is nice This reminds me of a Simpsons episode. I think they were, Bart and Lisa got a video game or something. It was like a, a, a line simulator. <laughs> Simulating waiting in line. They got all kinds of simulators. I believe they got like a, like a farm simulator. Um, it's another one. Roller coaster simulator. I'm sure they got a line simulator somewhere just for a joke. Here it is, looks like we're up. Basically just asking questions just to see if maybe you get nervous or something, maybe you shouldn't be there. I know they, <laughs> some people do start sweating, maybe they can't answer simple questions. And they use that to base themselves on if they're gonna, I don't know, hold the person or do a further inspection. So make sure you have all your answers ready. That up there was the area in the last video showing where you cross into Mexico. A little x-ray machine if you have bags. And here we are, we're outside. We're in the United States now. Now this little path here is gonna take us back over to if you know, if you park your car, it'll show you where, you, where your car is and also the the little trolley if you need it. Oh, this lady. These people are lost. Basically, they're trying to figure out how to get into Mexico and they're, they're trying to come in through the exit and I was just telling them they got to go over all the way. And they asked for about a bridge and I told them to go to the bridge. So we're on the U.S. side now. We're going to be going over to the trolley. And all this right here on the left hand side was where the building was, the old entrance into the United States. This lady has a nice sweater on. 
Hopefully this new building will be many lanes and it would be a lot less time trying to cross back over. I know a lot of people have issues with that. Especially, there's actually a lot of people, um, some people I do know, they live in Mexico and they cross over to work. Right, they're US citizens that just live in Mexico. Rent in Mexico is dirt cheap, maybe $200 a month for a nice little house. It's like the best of both worlds. You get low rent and you're getting good pay. Those are little markets there. And this right here in the other video that I had it actually shows going that way entering into Mexico. And also here's here are the trolley tracks and the money exchange place in the last video. If you have a bunch of pesos, you can go there and get it exchanged back into dollars or vice versa. And that's it. You guys need to take the trolley, wait for it here, just like these people here. And further down this sidewalk are gonna be a bunch of places where there's parking, of course, paid parking. So if you need to go do that, you can go take care of that. But anyway, that's it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll catch you in the next video.